Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we're celebrating our new space and we're talking about reading expository texts. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEd and today we are from our new space and we're going to give you a tour just a shot across so you'll see the whole site. But uh, beyond that, I wanted to talk today about ways to engage readers with expository texts. One of the challenges of the Common Core and reading in general is engaging students reading expository texts that are tailored to them and the difficulty there is that expository texts, if they're not in an area of interest, actually do not tend to capture uh, audiences like narrative texts do. And so we need to capture and engage students. And one of the ways to do that is to provide some choice and have kids read in whatever area interests them. So I'll give a few ideas about how you might go about it if you have devices in the classroom. And let's start with one of my favorites and something that has become very common in, on most devices, and that is the Flipboard app. In Flipboard, what you can do, and I've talked about this app before, it's a fantastic app, it's a basic app, it's a, a way to create magazine-style reading on your device, and the way you do that is by telling the device what areas of interest you really have. So, for example, Right now, I'm looking at a specific person I follow. You can see that there are different things that I look at. I have a stream that talks about apps. I have a iPad Insight, which is a different stream, Edutopia, which is a great website and a service, and other things that I'm interested in. And of course, our stream, UNL Tech Edge. So if you go into that, you can see different things that were posted across the time. And what's great about this is that unlike other media streams, it actually brings up the article or the blog or the link and actually shares the picture and everything else that comes with it. So that's one way to do it. But if you've got kids and they're interested in something, what you have them do is actually go into the main menu and say, what am I interested in? So for example, if they're interested in sports, they can get different uh, streams around sport. For example, if they're interested in bicycling, they will go to this bicycling area and then they can read different articles, all of them expository, from different magazines and different blogs that are collected and put together. And if they want to keep logging those in and co those coming in on a regular basis, all you have to do is click on the follow and now the bicycling magazine will show up as one of your stream and you can see that now it's showing up on the bottom there as a new one. And if I want to add something more, you can just choose an area you're interested in. So if instead you're interested in popular science, here's another stream. You can examine it, see are these the kind of things that I want to read about. And if you notice, as I click on or touch that uh, story, what I get is the rest of the story coming up and I can flip through and I can get to the next stories. And the idea again here is that you can browse, you can save specific stories, or if you go to the bottom, you can actually share them across your streams or using social media. So you can share them with somebody else who might be interested. And that might actually be a classroom assignment. So read an expository text, use a strategy with it, uh, organize it, or uh, use a graphic organizer, answer questions or whatever it may be, but another assignment can be to share with others who you think will be interested in the story. So in this way, you can really engage readers with different kinds of expository texts. So that's one way to do this. Another way to engage readers with expository texts is actually to go to apps that are specific to their area of interest. And again, why I love those uh, apps is that most of the material there are written at about the middle school level, not all of it, but kids are very motivated to read in it. So they will probably transcend their, what we consider their reading level, and they have a lot of background knowledge that helps them navigate these expository texts. So here's an example. If we, for example, look for the NBA app, which I have, 
if you've got students that are interested, this is a way to engage them again with expository reading and they can talk about scores, they can get the news and you can see that these are very short stories. This is a great way to capture and get some expository reading really, really quickly without spending a lot of time. They also have longer articles that would take longer to read. But so you can have actually in these apps, because they pull from so many sources, lots of different kinds of text at different levels of difficulty and at different levels of length simply and there's a result complexity. So kids can use what they have as background knowledge, can be motivated by the fact that they get to choose what they read, but can be asked to actually perform the very same uh, exercises or very same tasks or assignments that the peers are just with different texts. And you as a teacher, of course, have to know that you are not going to read everything and you're going to trust students to read and to report correctly, and only if you have something you're worried about or wondering about would you go back and examine the original text and see if they got to the bottom of it. But if we're talking about uh, things like main ideas and details, things like that, they're very easily done regardless of text, and so students can have that choice. So this is the NBA app, there's an NFL app, there's a hockey app. You can find apps in various uh, in various domains, not just sports. Sports is just an example where there's, there are very rich apps to be used. So this is another way. The last one that I want to talk about today is Newsomatic. Newsomatic is for somewhat younger kids. We've talked about this app before, but I think it's really important to bring this up because this is a daily newspaper, so it's got rotating stories. It's written in upper elementary, early middle school levels mostly, and it is things that would appeal to kids and would help strengthen the background knowledge and engage them in expository reading. So here's another example of how you can have different expository texts that aren't the same type of text come into your classroom, respond to interest so kids can choose whether they want to uh, look at a specific article or something like that. Hanukkah is here, which yeah, we'll tell you when we shot this and then you learn something about Hanukkah and you can see that as you scroll up and down you can see the whole text and usually there are additional things like uh, here there's vocabulary that helps to explain the keywords in the text so there's another layer of vocabulary learning that is very intentional in Newsomatic that we wouldn't necessarily find in those other apps we talked about. So this is Newsomatic and it's another way to engage your readers with expository text. And so today we talked about our new settings and we are going to talk more about expository texts next time and I'll see you on iPads in the classroom.